Hey there, welcome, welcome back. I hope everybody's doing good out there today. Um, today I was going to start, I don't want to call this a series, but I'm going to do a few videos of kind of a get to know me. So um, I don't know how many people are going to be interested in this. I'm not a super interesting person, but I've been around for a while and I've done some cool things. Um, I decided I was going to do the first video of this is going to be talking about my very first concert. Um, I've talked about it a million times on my reaction videos, how much I love live music. And it's been like that my whole life. I love it. I love live. It just, it doesn't get better than live. Um, so I was going to go ahead and talk about that. So my very first concert, I think I mentioned it on a video or two, were the Scorpions. This was back in 1991. Um, it was on their crazy, crazy world world tour. Um, the big song on that one would have been like, tease me, please me. Um, what else came out on that? Oh, winds of change was on that one. Send me an angel was on that one. Lots of really good out, um, uh, songs came out on that album. Um, so that was my first concert. It was, a I was a teenager. I was a kid. I'll put up pictures of what I looked like back then or roughly around that time period. <laughs> it's a little scary. I don't know if I should put those up, but you know, it is what it is. These were actually my senior pictures. Um, so this is about a year after this the, this concert took place. Um, and yes, I was in band. I, that's a marching French horn right there that I decided to put in my senior pictures for some reason. Um, that concert was so good. I went with a couple friends. One of my best friends, Jack Twight, who is to this day still one of my best friends and one of his friends, I knew him and, and but I wasn't really close to him, but the three of us decided to go. Um, the oh, It was in Lubbock, Texas. We lived in a small town in New Mexico called Clovis, which is just right across the Texas border into New Mexico. About an hour, hour and a half drive to Lubbock. And as kids, that, that was a big deal for us. Um, the opening act was um, a band called Trickster. They only had, <laughs> they were a definite one hit wonder of the time. Their big um, song was called, what was it? Sorry, I've got it pulled up here. Um, oh, Give It To Me Good. That was their big claim to fame. They were a small band out of New Jersey. They've, you know, that was, like I said, that was their one big hit. Although, um, looking up the stuff for this video, they've actually reunited. I don't know if they're together today, but the they are, um, they were touring up, uh, up through last year. So I find that cool. I'm actually kind of interested in hearing what their last couple albums may have sounded like, because it looks like they've released two since they reunited in 08. So I'm kind of interested in what, they, what they're up to. Um, and it's the original lineup from back when I saw them, which is really cool. Um, but they they were a fun band. I didn't, you know, I'd heard you know the song um, Give It To Me Good on the radio, and I actually had the album. They were a fun band. Um, they were, if you watch the video for Give It To Me Good, they're doing all kinds of extreme sports. They, they rode, they rode um, dirt bikes and everything. And about a week before the concert, the lead singer had been um, riding and doing jumps and stuff and fell and broke his leg. So he was on stage with a bro with a cast up to his thigh. So he couldn't even bend his leg. Standing there, still singing, sounded great, but it was just so funny that he had broke his leg. The two, the guitarist and the bass player, <laughs> you could tell they were young and weren't really very new at it because you would, they'd be standing on their sides of the stage and then you'd see them look at each other and then run across stage and cross. And then they played to that side of the stage. And then they'd look at each other and do the same thing. It was, it's funny. I and mean, it, you're, you're trying to get your legs under you, no pun intended for the um, lead singer. <laughs> but but yeah, I just always, that always stuck out in my mind. I, you would see them look at each other in the eye and then run across stage. So they were still getting used to it, but they were really good. And then, um, after they were done, you know, played their normal, I don't remember how long they played, probably about a half hour or so, you know, good set, six, six, seven songs probably. And then, um, and I was on the floor. This was before, you know, the, uh, that arena didn't have seating on the floor as a general admission. 
I actually still have the ticket stub. I'll take a picture of it and put it up closer. Um, and so for Trickster, I was actually right up on the rail. I was like the rail, one person and me. Um, when Scorpions came out, I had kind of gotten moved back a little bit. I was still really close to the front, but not quite right on the rail. And at this time, this, the it was before stage. The you know nowadays you see stages and there's 10, 15 feet between the stage and the rail where the crowd is. This was like just wide enough for the security walk back and forth. So we weren't on the stage, but we were really close. Um, Scorpions came out. Just it was such an amazing concert. I still even maybe I've seen better, but for some reason because of that experience of it being my first concert a band that i absolutely loved i'd loved since i was little um i still consider that my favorite concert ever it was a you know they played all their big hits <clears throat> except they hadn't played rocky like hurricane yet all throughout the concert every time you know toward the end of it you start listening are they going to play it are they going to play it nope this isn't it this is winds of change or you know any of you know any of their big songs would come up it's like oh nope this is a great one this is a great one and I remember they played a song. I remember, I can't remember what the last song before the encore was, but you know, it ended, lights came down, they all left the stage, as you, you know, a normal encore. Everybody's yelling and chanting and everything. And then those opening chords for Rocky Lair, like a hurricane came on. And the crowd exploded. There was probably, I don't know, we we're in a, the arena in Lubbock. I'm not sure how big it is, maybe eight. Eight to ten thousand people, maybe. I may be overestimating that. I was a kid, so it's hard to it's hard to judge. But it was it just the place exploded, and I remember. It's a weird memory to have, but I remember the stage setup, and the lighting setup. I hadn't I didn't think about it through the whole whole concert, but the lighting setup was a big circle in the middle, right above it, with lighting bars going out to the side and then a lighting bar in the middle of the circle, like connecting the front to the back and then two lighting bars coming out toward the, toward the crowd. So it's like going out that way. And when um, they started playing Rocky Lighter Hurricane, the light started moving. The circle came down. The, um, the six lighting bars off to the side got an arch in them the one that was across the middle of the um, the circle came up to, sorry, I'm going longer, came up like this and it had a big um, light section at the end of it. And the ones that came forward moved down and up and opened. The lighting bar, the lighting setup turned into a giant scorpion. It was, for some reason in my mind, that always stuck, it just, it was the coolest thing I'd ever seen. It was just amazing. But they got through that, got through Rocky Like a Hurricane. It was amazing. Me and my buddies, you know, got out. We couldn't stop talking about it. We got in the truck, this little bitty, um, like a small truck, like a little Mazda or something. It was um, Jack's buddy's truck. And we started driving home. You know, it's midnight. We're 16, 17 years old. Um, my ears were ringing so bad back then. I didn't even think about the fact that I should wear earplugs. Now I religiously wear earplugs when I'm going to a concert. It doesn't deaden the sound. It doesn't hurt the sound. It just stops that edge from getting you. It, I highly suggest anybody who goes to concerts, get earplugs. It's not going to diminish your enjoyment of the music. It won't, but it'll protect your ears. Please do that. That is my service announcement for the day. But I remember we just couldn't stop talking about it. It was so exciting. So and when we got home, did our thing, you know, you know, went home. It was that concert. Like I said, it, to this day is one of my favorite, one of if not my favorite concert I've ever been to. It was so exciting. We didn't get to meet the band. We didn't get to do any of that stuff. We just went. <sighs> this ticket stuff doesn't have how much it was. I don't think it was only like twenty bucks back then. All concerts were twenty dollars. Um, so it was just the best time. I remember that. I still remember it so well. I remember that hit when Rocky Like a Hurricane. Mine's a little fuzzy on specific songs and stuff, except that one. And the lighting rig, ugh, it was just so good. 
Um, but I mean, that was my first concert. I, I really love, and that like set me in stone about loving live music. I had been to a couple of local shows. My little hometown had their, um, hometown hero band. It was called Metal Rose. I'd gone to see them a couple of times. They were the closest thing to a big band and they, they were definitely, you know, miles ahead of any of the other local bands in my little town but they weren't quite at the stage of making it and they never did quite make it, which is, you know, that's for another time. But, um, those were the only shows I'd been to in a little, um, theater that held, holds like a hundred, 150 people. So seeing this giant arena, ba basically arena rock show was absolutely a memory I will never forget. Um, but yeah, that's, <laughs> It's that's that'll be pretty much it for this video. Um, let me know if y'all want to hear more about me and not just concerts. I, I plan on doing a couple videos more about my history of music, maybe do something about you know, I'm, I'm as much as I love music, I also love movies and TV, so I'm planning on doing maybe a couple videos about that. Um, about movies I've seen or recent movies, maybe do like movie reviews or something like that. But I want, really wanted to do this, um, and it went a lot smoother than I hoped, <laughs> so, or than I thought it was going to. Um, I thought I was going to have to have a thousand edits in this, because talking for 10 minutes is not my thing. But anyways, um, if you like this video, give it a like, um, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Um, let me know if this is the type of thing anybody's interested in. Even if it's just a few people, I might keep doing it. Um, I do have a Patreon. The link is down in the description. I really appreciate everything um, y'all do for me. It means the world to me that y'all are interested in what I do. And thank you so much. And I will talk to you next time.